So, like I talked about before, um, we're going to start by... I want to start doing old school games. I love new games like Elden Ring. I love, um, you know, Final Fantasy XIV is a new four, uh, one. I love new games. The problem is old school games have a certain nostalgia appeal for me. So, I want to start playing them more, like I said, in stream. And so, this is my attempt at all of the walkthroughs of every Final Fantasy game. Um, we're going to start with the ones that I have, which right now is one through four. I have eight, nine, seven remake, um, and then maybe 11 and 14. May, we may do some like quick stuff with them. Um, and then I'll buy other ones like five and six and after years, and then we'll start working in like the Crystal Chronicles and all of those. But for now, we're going to start with the first four. Um, and I think... There's going to be some grinding involved, but for the most part, every single thing is going to be done. We're going to try and get all achievements, uh, Steam achievements or otherwise, and um, go through the games. I mean, it's just, it's a chance for me to relive these and for you guys to watch them as well. Um, some of you have never played these games. It will be a chance for you to actually see some of these games and see where it all started. And it may be something you'll want to pick up. But these are Pixel Remasters, the first three. Um, as of right now, I have Final Fantasy IV, the 3D remake, uh, so that may be, I may end up pick, picking up the Pixel remasters and showing like a comparison of the two, uh, but for now, we'll just, we'll, we'll work with the first three. I'm pretty sure that'll take us the next month and a half or so, because we're only going to do about two episodes a week, and they're going to be between 30 minutes to 40 minutes, maybe. I don't want to do too long, so, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, yeah, I've already... I've already done some runs on here. Um, with this, there are many challenges out there, and I'll probably end up doing a challenge run eventually. But to start off, um, I don't want to do any type of challenge runs. We're just going to do like a straight game uh, to start. Uh, and honestly, do that. that's too simplistic. That's what I do when I'm playing. Um, let's see. So... His class. We always want a warrior, so we're gonna have a warrior. Uh, for him, it's gonna be Jackson. That name. Uh, and this one's kind of a throwaway. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, either monk or thief will work. Um, or red mage. I want red mage. I like red mages. This one is going to be, nah, that'll be the other one. Bella. And then white mage, and then black mage. Ember. And then that'll be, that'll be our starting runner. So it's, if you're, if you're doing this for the first time, I guarantee you this is probably the best starting run you can do unless you want to do two warriors um but we'll do a challenge run as well i would like to do like um an all one class run and then eventually a, a all one person run like just one npc or just one pc um and so that that would be a fun run for me i mean because games like this aren't built off of like twitch reaction time so it would be a lot easier for me to do <clears throat> i do have the walkthrough pulled up solely for making sure i get all the items because we want all the achievements uh, we need a bestiary while oh, this is loading
I'll look that up later. As far as I'm aware, there's not any missable enemies in the very beginning. Um, so. so yeah, let's go ahead and level up. Um, because that's one thing I do remember from my previous playthroughs is if you go straight into the story, um, you're gonna get wrecked pretty heavily, uh, easily. The auto switching is nice. and build up so we can buy some stuff too. See so if we'll get everybody to about level three. Put some money under our belt. Tell you, I had this game at its origins when it was on um, on PlayStation. You know, when Origins came out, I didn't have the original one, of course, but I remember it was a very difficult game. Uh, they've Pixel Remasters kind of eas eased it up a little bit, but Chaos is still pretty difficult, especially since he's more random than he was. Should be able to get one more without anybody dying before we head back. Now we'll get this one more level. know if the map or if the hammer is useful right off of the bat I don't think it's important to get a hammer for the so one hammer will work uh definitely a rapier i 
also think a rapier would be best for him too. So, rapier. That's the one thing about having a white mage and dark mage. So, or a white mage and black mage. Uh, the cure is definite. I want a cure. Cure for him as well. Damage to undead, yes. Um, let's go ahead and throw a protect on the red mage. Leak is necessary. Raises caster's evasion, but it's not really a super huge thing. Um, it's it's useful if you're doing a white mage only run, but otherwise it's not. And fire. Super important, so we'll go with that. Okay, now items. Sleeping bag. It's over here. Ah, yeah, that's right. We can run. I forgot about running. Now, yeah, the Chaos Shrine. Oh, that's right. It's just straight up ahead.
We can always go back to buy items too, which I think is probably gonna happen. I think that's one thing I did was buy items before the final boss. Um, one of the things I really want is eventually I'm gonna have the hit hard. I want to have a screen up top so that I can look up. The werewolves are the hard ones. I mean, they they take a bit to kill, unlike all the other stuff. I mean, this game, the difficulty ramps real quick. I even have. I mean, you get money pretty quick, so it's not that bad. I just even bring them back. to get Phoenix now because that's the only way to bring him back. Alright. Well then. Don't take a minute. So we're going to do a, uh, a fast forward. Um, and we'll... Ah. Hey, leveled up again so we'll do a fast forward skip on this um, I might just make it a speedy kind of deal to get to where I have enough alright uh, welcome back <laughs> we got one we got one uh, so um I don't know if it says 
Yeah, so level four, level five, level five, level three. So, uh, yeah, our black mage is going to be a real under level, but that's fine. We're going to keep going until we get enough for, um, enough for him to be revived. And then we'll go back up and do the chaos shrine and power up. So let's do this again. So I uh, finally got everybody revived up. So that puts, oh, he's not even healed a poison yet. That's why this game is so much harder. So now I need to make enough money to, to get an antidote. Multiple, really. Uh, but just enough for one, or maybe a couple. Um, oh. um, and then I can go up there and farm for a little while. But yeah, I'm going to have to farm. Like, I just spent a thousand... <laughs> keeping my people alive so definitely a uh, a severe spike in difficulty um, and it's not even that it's a spike like this game was not as well balanced as some of its uh, subsequent iterations so that it's just the one enemy that calls that um you don't even make a whole lot from up there but uh, you get level so i need to get the black mage up to about level five um at the very minimum uh and then i'll head up there but i want him to be able to survive a couple of hits i may i may go ahead and try up there just to see if i can get his levels quicker but yeah so um <laughs> it's it's definitely, it's definitely going to be a little bit more grindy than I initially had thought, but that's perfectly fine. I don't mind a good grind. So, but let me grind for a little bit and I'll come back and then we'll finish up the Chaos Shrine and that'll be episode one. We'll be Cornelia and the Chaos Shrine and then we'll go into the next area, which will be like uh, Matoya and, and all of that. Thing. What is it? Matoya and Pravica? Is it Pravica? Yeah. All right, but yeah, let me do that. And then uh, when I come back, we will, you know, we'll finish up this one. So see you soon. Okay. So, um, as you can see, level eight, 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 six. So he'll level up soon. Uh, but we've gotten to the point now where, where we can one shot a good chunk of stuff, except for the werewolves. Oh, I need to buy stuff. get uh, a couple of antidotes what do we get uh, antidote I'd uh, say five and then two sleeping bags two drops and then the rest will get all potions all right for now anyway take care of the first boss <laughs> after all that I mean, we could have done that a lot lower uh, probably in a different way if I hadn't let the guy die I completely forgot that going to an end doesn't heal you from death like you've actually got to get a phoenix down so that's a lesson learned 
Um, it's just, you know, none of the other games are like that. So honestly, I didn't think about it. Okay, so off to the left, I know there's a couple items. We can't get anything to the right. Right, so let's just go ahead and take it out this way. That's too easy. That's too easy. Now I might have to save up to get another thing. Another Phoenix down. Good gracious. Alright. I mean that's that's what it is. It's just that the the ease of dying. Especially as a black mage, like he has he has no health whatsoever. Um like that was he basically got two hit by the enemies here. So, trying to close the screen on my computer is, uh, it's, it's definitely coming to the end of its life. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade it very soon. experience. I'm gonna be like level 10 or 12 going into the first fight. With my black mage, black mage being like level five. That's the thing, He's if he could get his health up to the point that he can take more than a hit, then it wouldn't be that much of an issue. Exactly. 
500 all on the dot. Supposed to be a 30 minute episode, starting area in the next area, and it's turning into an hour. It's alright. The start of this game is just cruel. field a little bit. Um, it's never a good sign when your your task manager itself is not responding because you got so much going on on the computer. It's, it's, it's a very weak computer though. I bought it to run a few things and then I've added stuff to it and Black mages just have so low HP to begin with. Um, I think white mages are, have the highest of the two mages. Uh, of course, red mages have higher, but I mean, like, of the actual, like, dedicated mages, uh, white mages are the higher of the two by quite a bit. Try and get him a couple of levels and just keep him alive. Um, I'm just gonna dedicate the white mage to keep him alive. Won't be attacking, should just be keeping him alive. So. The thing is, I could probably take on the boss right now and do just fine. Now let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. Um, actually, hold on. Let me save first.
He really does the most damage of the bunch, but there it goes. The saddest part of all this is it is the easiest fight. I should have just went on ahead and done it, but. after that. I think... I don't remember, but I think we can actually get the treasure chest now. Let's double check. Uh -huh. save and that's gonna be the end of this episode um lord i gotta tell you um i forgot how hard the first of this is plus i'm an overachiever i'll keep leveling until i feel comfortable with the area as opposed to worrying about the boss that was my issue i said this game's not balanced i don't think you're actually supposed to lose against that boss I mean, it's fairly easy, but uh, the enemies in that area are harder than he is, and so that's why I wasn't sure, because I know at the end of the game, the final boss is so much more difficult than you would imagine him being. Hey guys, uh, so, um, <laughs> Mediocre Gamer again, um, I don't know why, but the video cut out, well, I do know why, so I found out uh, after filming a couple of episodes that... Uh, if you are in your Streamlabs and you're on our controller and you hit like the A button um, because you're trying to do something in the game as opposed to the editor, or it, instead of in Streamlabs, uh, Streamlabs counts that as you turning off the recording. And so if you watch there at the end, I looked over at the screen for a moment because I was getting ready to switch and I was fixing something. I was getting ready to transition. And I clicked on Streamlabs, and then I went to my remote and hit A. And when I did so, I shut off my Streamlabs, and, or it shut off the recording, and so the video stops. Um, I've, I've figured it out. Hopefully this won't happen again. I kind of keep an eye on making sure that it's constantly recording. But um, nothing really interesting happened after that. I just did my regular outro and moved on my merry way. Um... I noticed this this video was a little bit longer than I intended, and I there's a lot of like areas where I don't talk a lot, and I'm noticing that in a lot of the stuff that I'm posting, uh, a lot of stuff that I'm editing, and so I'm gonna start working on talking more, uh, engaging, uh, maybe start talking about facts about the game as we go along. Of course, I've got four episodes now that I know of uh, filmed, well filmed, I got them recorded, uh, maybe five, I think it's four, uh, but. From here on out, I'm going to start doing more facts about the game and about the enemies and, and things like that. I've got some research that I've done that's kind of given me some stuff to talk about. And maybe that can really help me be more engaging. So if you've stuck, if you've stuck with me this far in the video, I highly appreciate it. 
Uh, and definitely I'm going to only improve. Now the next couple of videos, you're not going to see a whole lot of improvement in that whole talking uh, aspect, but you will see it going forward after that. And I'll start putting in more edits and, and maybe throwing in a little bitty facts and stuff in text here and there uh, to, to give it more engagement, maybe cutting it to the side, doing stuff that like in, interesting in, engagement effects that may cause, you know, more, um, I cause you as the viewer to enjoy the video more. So that's kind of a goal going forward, but I want to thank you all so much. Once again, to have a wonderful day, take care. Uh, in the next episode, we will be working our way to Matoya's cave and uh, then on to Provoca Town, as I talked about before. Provoca. I, it doesn't say how to pronounce it. I'm just going to say it's Provoca because otherwise it's provocative. Because, um, you know, Provoca Town. It's just, it looks weird. But anyway, thank you all so much. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.